always been a reader, but there was never books about Aboriginal people. There's never books about Aboriginal children, you know. The Indian in the cupboard was the big one for me, and trying to think of anything else, I, I, there wasn't any. So she decided to write her own. This Aboriginal children's author may be a mom working on her master's degree, but she's also just penned her third kid's book. After moving to Chilliwack for merit in the Nicola Valley, Nicola Campbell studied creative writing in university and wrote her first award-winning adventure. My stories tell the different transitions a child goes through into becoming a teen and into becoming an adult and becoming a young woman. And that's what my goal is, is, is to create that path, is to break that trail so that when you know, when somebody is struggling, when a child or a teenager is struggling and they happen to pick up one of my books, my hope is that it's going to inspire them. Shishi Etko won the Aboriginal Children's Book of the Year Award in 2006, and the sequel, Shinji's Canoe, received the TD Canadian Children's Literature Award in 2009. And now Nicola's third book, Grandpa's Girls, was recently recognized as one of the five finalists for the Christy Harris BC Book Award, the first time the province has acknowledged her work. The Shishi Edko and Shinji's Canoe, um, there's images that happen in those books, like with paddling and stuff, so, like they cross traditional territories. The paddling didn't happen at home, it happened, it was something that I learned here in Stalo territory. Because I'm not Stalo, I'm, I'm Interior Salish, I'm in Kepmochnin Silk. On my mother's side I'm Thompson Okanagan, and my dad was Métis. Although there is a canoe in Nicola's first and second book, the boat is more than just a vessel. The traditional sport of paddling signifies much more to this First Nations author. When I first started, I was actually scared of the water because my dad drowned when I was a baby. So it was a, a kind of a process to overcome that. But then I also got completely hooked on it. It's changed my life in a lot of ways. It's made me a stronger person. Growing up in the Thompson, canoes weren't a large part of her First Nations heritage. But the canoe, like her writing, soon became an outlet for self-expression. She didn't know a whole lot of people in the valley, and so I asked her to start paddling. Because one of our traditional teachings is when you give a young person a paddle to start paddling for our cultural ways, you're saving their life. Besides paddling, both First Nations ladies glide along in parallel lives with their culture, spirituality, education, and as mothers. And though they don't get a boat full of time together, they're still each other's main supporters. I'm just really impressed by Nicola, and I totally admire her. She always finds a way through her writing to keep moving forward, keep trying, being that role model for our younger people. As a writer and as an author, it gave me another way of learning how to create change in the world by opening hearts and opening minds. For Shaw TV, I'm Tiffany Gurdon.